Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the interrogation room. That's right, the interrogation room. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in the country in which I was born, two friends were as close as any two friends have ever been. These friends had grown up on the same street, attended the same schools, and both men were well acquainted with the families of each other. In some way, these two friends were more like blood brothers than friends. One day, while walking down the street to meet up with one another, a man on a bike came riding down the cross street wearing a suit and a big hat. Both brothers looked on as the man rode by and out of sight, and they continued to walk until they met each other at the cross street and were about to begin their day. Before they could walk away, however, five police cars quickly pulled up with their sirens flashing. Seven cops jumped out with their guns drawn and they forced the two friends to the ground. Afraid for their lives, the two friends complied with the police officers, were promptly handcuffed and then taken down to the local jail. Once inside of the prison, the police took the friends to separate interrogation rooms and began accusing them of horrendous crimes. The friends maintained their innocence. We did not do these things, both friends were saying in separate rooms. I was only there to meet my friend. Well, isn't that something, one cop said to another. These two guys are the only people in the area, and yet they do not know anything about what happened. Wait, one friend said. We were not the only people. I saw your man, a man on a red bike wearing an all-white suit and a big bright green hat. The cops listened to his story and then went to question his friend. Did you too see a man? They asked suspiciously. Oh yes, the other friend said, seeing a glimmer of hope. There was a man on a green bike wearing an all red suit with a big white hat. The cops burst out laughing. You can't even keep your lives straight. You will spend the rest of your lives in prison for what you did. No, both friends shouted when they found out their fate. We are not lying. The cops began telling the friends how their lives were over, and just then, another cop came bursting into the room. We have to let them go, the cop said. We just arrested a man riding a half-red, half-green bike, a half-white, half-red suit, and a half-green, half-white hat. The two friends shouted out their pleasure with this news. Now please, sir, release us from this interrogation room. And so, the morning motivation of today is the interrogation room. Remember, family, that perspective can be everything. When you look out into the world, you are restricted to seeing things through your own personal lens. And it would help your interactions with others if you remembered that others are entitled to have their own personal lens as well. And whenever possible, we should consider the perspectives of others and interact with those who are willing to see ours in return. In this way, we can live together in better harmony and we all can enjoy the life God blessed us with. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still allowed to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.